This is the 44th Progress vehicle to launch to the International Space Station in its history. This morning's launch of uh, Progress 44 from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, which took place on time at 8 a.m. Central Time this morning. And uh, into, as you can see, a cloudless sky and seemingly without any incident. However, at five minutes and 50 seconds into the flight this morning, during the third stage operations, and uh, just about three minutes shy of achieving orbit, the Russian control teams reported an abnormal situation on board the Progress and a loss of telemetry with the vehicle. The report that was just given to International Space Station Commander Andrei Barasenka from Maxim Matuchin, the head of the MCCM, is that at 320 seconds into flight this morning, there was a failure in the upper stage rocket, and the Russian flight control teams lost communications with the vehicle, and that there was no final stage separation. Uh, since that time, on two compasses, uh, two orbits of the Earth, the Russian flight control teams have been working to uh, contact the vehicle, uh, using every uh, communications means that at their disposal. And uh, so far, they have had no success in contacting the progress at all. Uh, Matuchin informed Borisenka that that is all they know at this time and are still working to determine the cause of today's abnormal situation. Flight control teams here in the Mission Control Center in Houston are monitoring that activity in uh, Koryolov. And, of course, we'll be able to relay more information when it becomes available. The uh, Progress Supply Ship did launch on time at 8 a.m. Central uh, this morning from Baikonur, carrying almost three tons of supplies to the International Space Station. At five minutes and 50 seconds into the flight, the Russians reported an abnormal situation and a loss of telemetry. Uh, attempts over two communications passes to uh, contact the vehicle on all available channels have not been successful so far. The mission control team in Moscow has informed International Space Station Commander Andrei Barysenka of uh, the current situation. They will be continuing to uh, work to determine the uh, cause of uh, this morning's abnormal situation, continuing to monitor for uh, perhaps to regain contact and at this time as you uh, heard, they said that they were uh, disappointed, and uh, that is all that you know so far. Additional information, uh, if it becomes available to the mission control team in Houston, will be.